In the light of the off-year elections, both parties look ahead to 1960, the next presidential year. Democratic Senator Claire Engel and Governor Pat Brown of California catapulted to nationwide political prestige on the basis of their roles in the Democratic jackpot, the greatest sweep since the 1930s. One of the nation's most powerful Republicans, Senator William Noland, was returned to private life and believed eliminated from contention as a possible presidential candidate, as was California's governor, Goodwin Knight. Nationwide, the election results saw 32 Democratic governors, 62 senators, 282 congressmen. Gaining added stature, Senator John F. Kennedy led the Democratic triumph in Massachusetts. Among upsets in many GOP strongholds was the loss of Vermont's only House seat for the first time in over a century. Against the national picture, the defeat of Governor Averill Harriman of New York was the sole Republican bright spot. Only one member of the Democratic slate was elected. Harriman himself lost to newcomer Nelson Rockefeller by over half a million votes. Rockefeller scored what was clearly the most impressive personal victory of the day. Commanding major political power and prominence as governor of the Empire State, Rockefeller is inevitably already being appraised as presidential timber. A bright hope of the GOP as almost the sole survivor of the 1958 landslide.